Okay, hello there, I'm Dennis. Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to install React OS. React OS just came out December the 23rd. Today is December the 24th. And I've actually installed it and played around with it in some in a virtual box. And we'll get to that. But on DistroWatch here, we got, it's an other OS, an independent release. Therefore, I'm on my Void Linux since it's independent. And it comes from Russia. It says React OS is a free and open source operating system based on the best design principles found in the Windows NT architecture. And if you click down here, this will take you to their home page. This is where you'll get your download at. You can download here or donate. Always a good idea to do uh, donate. And you can get a nightly build, or you can get one they just released click on the boot cd go to the downloads and what we're looking for see if i got the right one uh, yeah see this one says react os it's a zip file it's been archived but it's an iso i'm gonna cancel out of that thank you oops <laughs> did that wrong that's all right so back to their home page here there we go so that's how you get your iso once you've downloaded it put it in it's in your downloads folder or wherever and then extract that and we'll set it up in the virtual box so they do have specific in a virtual box they do have specific requirements uh virtual machines virtual box here we go all right so installing the boot cd uh we're going to set it up i've got it in virtual box you might be able to just see what i've got here uh, it says first thing it says click on new create one Virtual box, 256 megabytes of RAM is all that's recommended. I give it 1024. Uh, 1024 memory right here. Did not enable the EFI. And it's 32-bit Windows 2003. See that right here. React Windows uh, System. React OS test is set up in Microsoft Windows, Windows 2003 32 bit. Let's see, make sure we only have one core of the processor allocated to it. Make sure the enable input output APIC is not enabled or checked, ticked. On the display, it says 18 to 36 megabytes of video memory. So I did the 18 megabytes. May turn that up might go up to 32 here depending and here click on the empty spot click on here choose a disk disk file pick your disk file out here's the one that's been extracted cancel that out and put that right here and make sure that this under attributes live cd dvd is ticked and i believe that's it so I've got it already set up here, and you can see it just changed to 32 megabytes of RAM for the display, and that's because I've installed the guest editions. But we're going to go through the, got it set up now properly, we're going to go through the install. So I'm going to click on start, minimize it, virtual box. Let me turn this up while I still can. It's probably good. Okay, so if you've ever installed Windows 98, <laughs> you're looking at it. For the first option, though, we're going to pick English United States. That is correct. Hit enter. Basically, going to hit enter all the way through here. So, enter to this is the part of the setup that copies the React operating system to your computer and prepares the second part of the setup. So, I'm going to press enter to install. React version status, React 
OS is alpha, in an alpha stage warning. It is not a feature complete. It is not feature complete and is under heavy development. It is recommended to use it only for evaluation and testing purposes and not as your daily driver. Which, if we go back to Distro Watch, you'll see it's ranked 53. And it's an experimental. It's been in there a long time. I'm going to hit enter again here. We're going to accept those devices. That's the display, the keyboard. In the computer, all right, we're going to partition the unpartitioned space, format it as FAT file FAT32 system, enter to continue. Now, here we could just like in Windows, you could uh, actually uh, install it into a different folder, but by default, it's going to go in uh, backslash react OS, hit enter, and there we go. Installation is now. As far as our part goes, it's almost through. So we are going to install a bootloader on the hard disk. We do have some options. We install a bootloader on a hard disk VBR only. Install a bootloader on a floppy disk, which is really old fashioned, <laughs> old school, sorry. And skip install bootloader, which we're not going to do. You might want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and press enter here to get it restarted. Now the medium, the ISO is still there, but just leave it there. Don't do anything and it'll carry you to this screen. So here's our boot up options. You can read them there. You got a bunch of them. You got 10 seconds to make up your mind. And we're booting to the hard disk. Now we're going to have to answer a few more questions. React OS setup wizard. The wizard installs React OS on your computer. The wizard needs to gather some information about you and your computer to set up React OS properly. Click next to continue with the setup. Okay, so he's there's some acknowledgments here about people that's been working with them over the years, and that's pretty nice. You know, if you've been working for them and, and testing or whatever, it'd be nice to see some acknowledgments. Very good. Click next. Okay, so here we can change our, our local settings, our keyboard, and our uh, language all that's fine i'm gonna say next i'm gonna leave the name of the as owner and say next you could put any name there you want to in fact this used to be either my computer or my pc used to be the go-to for everybody here's the, what it's going to name it. it's going to name it react os with this alphanumeric number here not going to get a password we're going to change the time zone. For me, it's U.S. Central. And I always untick that automatically adjust for daylight savings time when I was running Windows. And I like doing that on my own. And here we got options to set up and look. Now, I don't know how much of a we can tell just by doing this until you actually boot into it. But I'm going to go with the classic one they call it the classic. Say next. We're going to use typical settings. The only other settings in here is your network. Uh, if you wanted to, if you had a static IP address and you wanted to add that in here, here's where you would do it. But I'm going to accept the typical settings. Say next. No, this computer will be part of a work group. I'm going to say, yep. Hit next. All right, now it's going to restart. And again, I didn't take the ISO out, so I'll give it just a minute and it'll bypass that. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter here since we've already saw that screen. And we should get yep, a window wanting to install some drivers. And I hadn't installed or downloaded this yet, so it's going to fail. And so will this one, or this one, I mean. Automatically, next it's gonna fail. Okay, now this over here for a second. Go back to web page, virtual machines, install from a CD. We just did that. React OS installing guest editions. So mount the CD image with guest, uh, guest editions in the CD ROM drive. 
and then open it up and go to the VBox Windows Edition.exe. Did I just see the Virtual Box Guest Edition? Right there. Right here, I do believe. Find out. Guest Edition Setup. Setup. Install. And I'm going to manually reboot. Restart. Yep, right there. Installing guest editions, install the, and then click on the, or install the guest edition CD, mount it, which it was mounted, VBox Windows Editions hyphen EXE, follow the instructions, and reboot. Actually, I think it's about half failed. Well, that was only one. There was two. So we got something happening here. Let's see. Hardware. Yep. All right. So multimedia. That should have been style, style, specific location. Include this path. Document. System 32 drivers. Okay. Next. Fail again. But we got sound. Huh. And so that's a look at React OS. We got programs, we got games, we got accessories. One thing I did notice there is no, at least I haven't seen it yet, I have not seen uh, disk defrag system. Big. So you got a Windows 98 looking. I'm going to shut this off and we'll go down to the one that I've installed. Got it set up a little bit. Okay, so let's bring up the React OS that I've already set up. And got the guest editions working, the audio is working. And let's look around and see what we got here. And for some reason, I did not hear the login sound. Let's, uh, where would that be? Let's see, control panel. Uh, setting sound. Go. I could have right clicked on the volume, volume icon and done the same thing. Under sounds, let's see. Let's find exit, exit re. There we go. Let's find a uh, log on. Let's apply that. Say okay. I'm gonna bring up. Let's see. Win out. I used to love Win out. Really whips the ass. <laughs> and it took me a little while to figure out what that meant when I but I curiosity did drive me and there was another uh, uh audio player and I believe it was called the llama and it was knockoff of Winamp, I believe. So let's take a look. We got in the programs, we got accessories, we got accessibility, magnifier, on screen keyboard, communication, remote desktop, entertainment, we got multimedia player, sound recorder, and volume control, character map under system tools, clipboard view, viewer, font sub, keyboard layout switcher, React 
X Diagnostic Registry Editor. So it has a registry. Task Manager, Snapshot. Let's open up Task Manager. See what it's reporting here. I give it one core of my processor. And it's using almost half of that and 137 megs of the one gigabyte that I offered it or give it. Let's see, that was under system tool, calculator, command prompt, notepad, paint, word pad. Paint's a good program. Device manager, event viewer, service manager, system configuration under games, solitaire, spider, solitaire, and wine. Guest editions, startup, no programs, video LAN, that's VLC player, WinAmp, we just looked at, applications manager, that's how you get uh, whatever available software they have, this is where you get it. All right. Let me just close out of the task manager, although I like the task manager. <laughs> and let's see, and I believe that's it. Let's see, documents, nothing yet. Control panel, network connections, printers, and faxes, taskbar, and start menu where you can uh, edit what's on it and what's not on it. Add my, my items, classic view, you could add, create your own. I used to love doing that stuff. Very nice. So, like it says, it's not really meant for. A, a daily driver, but if you wanted to uh, just play around in it and see what will work in Windows 98 or actually in React OS, uh, it'd be beautiful for that. And it, I got to admit, it's kind of interesting. And I'm going to open up my other computer and do a real short video on Windows 98 showing you kind of a comparison between this menu and your options as compared to the menu on Windows 98. So, I'll be back. Thanks, guys, for watching. Okay, so as promised, I'm going to look at Windows 98. This is a screenshot of React OS version 4 and 14. We close out of all that. And I got Windows at 98 SE set up in my virtual box. Now, this is 98 SE. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter there instead of waiting. And I just want to compare this to React OS. Let me close this out of the welcome screen here. You can tell I hadn't done a whole lot in here. See, start menu, we've got programs, we've got accessories, communications, uh, entertainment, games internet tools system tools which this clean up and this defrag close out of that uh, neither one of those were in react os but it's a different filing system i think uh, all the typical stuff here that you would see in windows 98 uh, startup is empty accessories one thing I did do like about the windows, you, for instance, you could grab this, left click on it and hold it down and drag it over here or wherever you needed it and it'll put it right there. Now you can also create a category just as easily and drag it over there into that category. I think you can do that here. Explore, uh, start menu under programs, let's say go new. Folder, we'll just call it new folder. Close out of that. If I can get the mouse to it. And <laughs> under programs, we see a new folder. And then you could just grab whatever you wanted to and put it in that new folder. And when if you didn't like it, delete it. So this is what Windows 98 looks like compared to React OS. I think you'll find it's very, very comparable. You got the control panel. With, of course, I don't have any of this set up. You could go and change the view, all of this, but it would look just like React OS if you do or when you do.
So anyway, thanks very much. This is Windows 98 SE. <laughs>